Well, is it possible to find love on the slopes? It is. Oh, okay, good. We don't need to do this. <laughs> this Sunday after it helps is hosting a chairlift speed dating event for single skiers and snowboarders. Luma Luxury Matchmaking is teaming up with the ski hill to try to make a little love connection out there on the slopes. Joining us now is Pam Hoy from Afton Alps and April Davis from Luma. Thank you guys for coming Thanks in. For us. All right, Pam, how did you come up with this chairlift speed dating idea? Well, a ski hill is a very romantic place. Anyway, sure. people use it for a wedding backdrop. They use it to get engaged. And we thought, why not like create an environment for people to meet? All right, so I'm just thinking the chairlift ride isn't all that long. It just makes it perfect. Yeah, so how, how long <laughs> is it? Just long enough. Long enough. Long enough. There. Most speed dating events, they only have people talking to each other for about a minute anyway. Oh, so wow. So it kind of makes for How long is the lift? Three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. yeah. So it's Might be two minutes enough. too long. Depends, <laughs> yeah, right. depends who you're riding you're with, stuck, I guess. So yeah, <laughs> you yeah. have to go. No, it's, um, it's a great way to just get an introduction to someone. And if you do like each other, then they both will tell me afterwards. And then we can help to exchange phone numbers. Nice. Then they go back go to the lodge or something and yeah, sit by the fire. Can. That's the best part at Prey Ski. You can <laughs> grab a cocktail after, a hot, warm hot toddy. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, how about skiers and snowboarders? Are you keeping them separate for this event, yeah, or will they be we are mixing? Not. We're not very discriminating. Very wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't. You can find love on a ski hill, but a skier and a boarder together? I don't know. Well, we'll arrange them by age group <laughs> and then set them up. Yeah, I was wondering about there, that because yeah. you could get a, a very a wide ranging right. uh, age group and yeah. different people. We're out there. asking them to register by age, and then we. Is there a little questionnaire? Or you just yeah. you're just going to go for it based on age and see what um, happens. We'll just start with the age, and yeah. then they can. We can set them all up so they can meet everyone that way. If there's no snow at all, are they still just going to be riding the chairlifts? Well, actually, we are at full open. Forty you make seven the snow. Of our nice. 47 yeah. runs are open, so it's perfect um, spring lake skiing. You can dress less and. You well, there you go. The and dress <laughs> less is great for speed dating, too. Uh, I think it lends itself perfectly. No <laughs> question about it. April, do you find uh, when you start with a common interest like this, mm -hmm. the outdoors, skiing, snowboarding, right. is that a good place to Just start? Just doing some sort of activity I've always found to be a better way to meet someone because then you it's not that weird like, where you're staring at each other and yeah. it's a... Uh, Kind of that awkward first date. For so sure. we're, we're doing rather than meeting fun. at a bar. Well, we both like to drink. Yeah, well, you can at least do that. How fun <laughs> would it be if yeah. you make a connection here? I think it's great. Chairlift speed dating. Uh, grab your uh, hot toddy and uh, go up on the lift. It's this Sunday at Afton Alps. Registration at two. Speed dating goes from three to five. Costs thirty bucks a, t a person. That includes a lift ticket. Uh, but if you want to rent skis or snowboards, you'll uh, pay for that as well. Go to wcco.com/links. For more information, this is really fun. Pam and April, thanks for coming in. We thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having us.